a specific issue that has come to our attention and which we think is a serious uh, security issue for this country. About a week ago, there was an article authored and published under the name of the Uganda Radio Network on the title Brokers Hijack Nira Processes Make Millions in Bribes. This particular report subsequently was picked up and circulated on various other platforms and it seemed to suggest that all our operations at the various NERA service centers across the country have been hijacked or taken over by unscrupulous individuals acting as middlemen purportedly to provide services to the public at a fee. We want to state as follows. NIRA operates 117 offices across the country. These are the various district offices, the head office at Kololo, and the five offices in each of the five divisions of Kampala. The offices are fully established and functional to provide services to the public. I wish to mention here that all first registrations for national ID, all first registrations for national IDs are free. There is no charge levied for national ID registration if somebody is registering for the first time. In registering persons for national IDs, we work with other structures of government. The first stage of registration for a national ID is for the applicant to obtain a letter of recommendation from their local area LC1 chairperson. The second step, once the LC chairperson has issued the letter of recommendation, is to present that same letter to the district internal security officer for counter signature. It is once these two offices have endorsed your application, your letter, that then you proceed with the other required documentation, including the relevant copies of the national IDs of your parents to present your request to any office of NIRA in close proximity to you across the country. All letters from the LC chairpersons are supposed to be issued free of charge. All DSOs are expected to sign or to endorse those letters free of charge. This is the law established by the government of Uganda. Only subsequent applications attract fees. And these fees are clearly spelled out in the Registration of Persons Act 2015. The fees include fees for replacement of lost, damaged, or defaced national IDs. And the standard fee for all these services is 50,000 shillings, payable through the bank. NIRA does not receive any shilling for services offered by itself. All our fees are paid through 
the bank. Remember, fees paid to the bank attract bank charges. So depending on which bank, you will get 50,000 plus or minus uh, uh, bank charges. We wish to acknowledge that there are cases of individuals who have tried or have attempted to use um, to, to, to uh, uh, use their know-how of our systems and how they work to obtain money from the public under the guise of expediting the process for them to get national IDs. The vices are, include the following. Forgery of LC letters and their stamps. That is one vice we have identified. That some LC letters are forged and the stamps of the LC chairpersons are also forged. Forgery of diesel stamps. Three, brokerage of services. Brokerage meaning there's a third party who sees a client approaching a nearer office to lodge an application and intervenes to help, quote-unquote, at a fee. I can help you expedite this process. Pay me 300,000 shillings, and you'll get your ID in one day. That's what brokerage means. And there are a number of people or individuals we have identified in this category. There are people who worked with the NSIS project or the mass registration project in 2014 stroke 2015. There are also some former employees of NIRA who have left, who have been identified to be offering these brokerage services. Ladies and gentlemen, we are aware of these and we have taken the necessary measures to curb these tendencies. We wish to state that because registration involves a lot of other actors other than NIRA, there are stages where we may not have a lot of control. For instance, the LC1 chairpersons, these are not employees of NIRA, but they are a critical uh, part of the registration process. We also work through the offices of the DISOs, who are also not employees of NIRA, but are important in ensuring smooth registration processes. We would like to call upon the individuals occupying these offices to exercise maximum prudence and honesty in the way they conduct their business. As for the DISOs, we are engaging the uh, internal security organization, top leadership, to find a permanent solution to this challenge. For the LC1 chairpersons, we are engaging with the apparent ministry, Ministry of Local Government, to find a solution to this challenge. I wish to note, however, that this issue was unnecessarily blown out of proportion. We are cognizant that such tendencies are mainly prevalent in the Kampala, Greater Kampala Metropolitan Area. And um, this includes the five divisions, Machindie, Nakawa, Kawempe, Kampala Central, Rubaga. 
as well as the districts of Wakiso and Mukono. We have had very little experience with such tendencies of middlemen, bribery, and brokerage of services in the other parts of the country. And so the idea that um, Nira's offices have been taken over by these sorts of activities, I think, was unnecessarily blown out of proportion, more so by an individual of a journalism background whom we discovered had an issue with his application process. And when we, when we investigated, we were able to quickly resolve the challenge and get him done with his ID. So I think let us use the offices that we hold responsibly. The national ID and the national ID system are very highly regarded security documents in the country and in the region. Our national ID system is rigged to compare with the best of the best across the world. We subscribe to the ICAO, International Standards on Civil Aviation Authority standards that govern all national ID systems across the world. It is for that reason that today the national ID can be used as a travel document between the East African uh, countries. Why? Because of the trust that we have built in the system and in the document over time. We have often been asked why it takes so long to get a national ID compared to uh, getting a driving permit. Those two are very different documents. The national ID system was established to be a source data for all government functions and services. And so the amount of information we have to capture, the rigor through which we have to process this information is supposed to ensure that we uh, provide data and information that is trusted across all layers of government service and pri private sector services, including banking, telecoms, and so many other services. That document you have called the National ID has very detailed layers of security features, some of which you can see, some of which you cannot see. Today, the passport is expeditiously processed because they already have data pre-processed by the National Identification and Registration Authority. And they are linked to us through the third-party interface electronically. All you need to do is present your ID at immigration, they verify your data, and the passport is done. They have ready information. NIRA has to do the donkey work of processing this information. And so if we do not take it as seriously as it should be, we are going to get problems as a country. I wish to reiterate, ladies and gentlemen, that our systems are secure and well protected, both physically and uh, through our cyber protection systems. These sorts of tendencies only cause us temporary um, disturbances. They are not a threat to the national ID system. They are clerical challenges and we shall deal with them as such. I wish to call upon members of the public to have trust in the officers of NIRA offering services across the country. We have fully decentralized our services. As I mentioned, we have 116 different service points, excluding 
the national uh, headquarters at Kololo. All these services that we offer, including national ID registration, birth registration, death registration, and certification of adoption orders, replacement of lost national IDs, change of particulars on the national ID, can be offered through any of our service centers across the country. People, therefore, do not need to travel to Kampala to get these services. We have shortened the turnaround time for national ID processing from the previous three or so months to an average of three weeks as we speak, depending on where you are applying from. If you are applying from Kisoro or Kabong, give or take uh, a week for your ID to be physically transported to your issuance center. If you're within Kampala, probably two weeks. But the average time is three weeks. All national IDs, when issued, are issued using biometrics. You do not walk into an office to pick your ID and just pick it and go away with it. The ID must be issued physically, given to you, but also biometrically, using your fingerprints to release it from the system. If you do not do that, you will never be able to use it because it is not activated. That's why some people go to the uh, telecoms and say, Mira has issued us fake IDs. We don't issue fake IDs. After they come back to us, you discover somebody went and somehow picked a card from Ntungamo and did not use their biometrics to release it from the system. And then once that is done, it becomes activated. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a matter of security interest. Uh, we have worked closely with the Uganda Police uh, Force to investigate uh, such cases where we have identified uh, individuals involved in, in crime, uh, extortion, and bribery. They have ably supported us in effecting arrests and prosecution of such individuals at the different uh, layers um, of operation. We shall continue to work with the police force and bring it to their attention as and when such cases are identified. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your audience. Um, I'll hand the questions uh, at, an, at an appropriate time. Yeah, thank, thank you very much, uh, our colleague Gilbert. I think if you have any one or two questions, you point to them so that he addresses Uganda and also responds to in his Luganda version, he can respond to those questions. Do we have any? If there are no, then we can. We have one and two. If the question is asked, please don't repeat it. Um, if you want to read your uh, Mr. I'm asking, uh, uh, you see that the Kazina one of the security agencies, you see that the security of those who are supporting the investigation is for their nominee has been arrested. So far, secondly, since the issuance of the national IDs, we are getting information that uh, there are those which have not yet been picked by the individuals who apply. How many yet they have and what type of process is the plan? You have a different question? Yes, my mother is. Okay. Uh, okay, we have uh, a very long way to go.
Thank you. Those are the questions uh, Comrade Gilbert. You can answer them, then you summarize Uganda and also answer them. Um, thank you for those questions. Cases of people arrested for bribery and extortion are handled as they are reported. We have a challenge in that sometimes the very same clients are part and parcel of the vice. If you're not ready to pay a bribe, nobody will force you to. But if you're willing to pay, then it creates room for wrong elements to take advantage of you. Like the saying in English goes, it takes two to tango. Bribes exist because they are willing parties. The person asking for the bribe and the one paying the bribe. So I want to take this uh, opportunity to emphasize to our clients that if you are asked for a bribe, you can do one of two things. Report to police, the nearest police post or station, or bring the matter to the attention of the management of NIRA. We have a fully functional security office that can investigate and handle such matters. However, in the very nearest um, uh, past, we have identified and arrested a number of people, including a one Isaac Okia, who was arrested from NIRA headquarters, Mwesi Guadagno, Sekasi John, Nakawunde Joan, Kamashazi Gloria, all these were arrested from the March India Division officers, just to mention a few. But it is important for us to note that um, cases can only be identified with the help of those who have been victimized and who bring them to our attention. How many cards remain unissued? One, the responsibility of picking a national ID rests solely with the individual who has applied for it. NIRA is not obliged to walk to your door to issue you with a national ID. You go to the NIRA offices and apply for national IDs because you need it. And so the follow-up for you to go and pick it rests with you as a person. However, as an institution, from time to time, resources allowing, we carry out what we call limited time outreaches, where we take these cards to the communities. Of course, we know, especially in the rural areas, that sometimes the distances between the villages and our district offices can be long, and it's a challenge to an ordinary person to pay 20,000 uh, shillings on a border border uh, to and fro 40,000 shillings. Many people don't have that sort of money. And so we take time when resources are made available to us to go out and carry these IDs to the villages and uh, mostly at the sub-county level and call upon people to come and pick them from there. As recently as November and December last year, before we went into the election process, we had such a similar exercise. And we've been doing this in the past as well. We, however, find uh, that um, a lot of things change on the ground. People move. There are people who registered in Gulu and now are maybe resident in Movende. So these dynamics also uh, create com uh, complications in as far as issuance of national IDs is concerned. Why are some people denied national IDs? The first burden of proof is proof of citizenship. And there are documents that we require 
for one to present to prove that they are citizens of Uganda. We don't have any problem with any particular group or tribe or community in this country. Where we have had such cases like the Maragoli case we had in the Kiriandongo, we have found solutions for those sorts of situations. National IDs are first and foremost issued to citizens of Uganda. We have a plan to begin registering legally resident non-Ugandans, like is done across the world, and issue them with alien identification cards. So, if you are an applicant for uh, national ID, the first thing you must prove is that you are a citizen of this country. And there are documents that are required for that to be ascertained and verified. So NIRA does not go out of its way to intentionally deny persons national IDs. For as long as they are able to prove their citizenship, we shall proceed and process their IDs. Replacement of national IDs, I said the processes have been reviewed. We have had a business review process, and the replacement process takes the same amount of time as applications for new IDs, unless there's a peculiar case. But even then, what we normally allow for, if you've lost your national ID and you have uh, started the process of replacing it, and you would like to conduct business either with your bank or with your telecom, you are free to request for what we call a letter of confirmation of information from NIRA, which states that so-and-so lost their national ID, they have initiated the replacement process, but as they wait for it, this is their information and will provide your name, NIN, date of birth, and other particular particulars. Now, why does this information take long to reach uh, the telecoms? I don't know, but the setup is such that when those letters are issued physically to the applicant, the same information is electronically wired from NIRA to the telecom service provider through their regulator, which is the Uganda Communications Commission. NIRA does not interface directly with the telecom. We do so through the Uganda Communications Commission, which is their regulator. So UCC acts as a, um, what is the term, a conduit to channel then this information to the various uh, 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 individual telecom services. Uh, telecom service providers. So in between, there could be a few challenges or delays, but that's how it is done. However, that letter should help you access a service as you wait for your physical ID to be produced. Mubufunze, njoge devi intubinji na yenja geza kubifunza, uh, nga ngamba nti tuafu na uh, maulide agagamba nti eh, offices za nira ezenja ulo zi wambi dua haba kumpanya na haba fere haba saba sente okufuwa kubantu okufuwa sobeza okufuna services za nira okufuwa liza wa mu ngo kwe wandiso okufuna indaga muntu Ene nso nga tujizude nti esinze kuba mu district eze mukono wakiso ne division za Kampala etano chine chizibu tetuna chifu na nyo okutwaliza awamu okuva mu offices za fendala eze torode gwanga nira eina offices chikumi kumi na msambu nga botwali de headquarters zayo ekololo era tugenze nga tusasanya services za fe obobuweleza 
nga tuyitira mu districts zina ezenja ulo okusobola okuwa abantu baffe abana Uganda services zebetaga services za fe za njawulo omuli okwewa ndiso kufuna endaga muntu okufuna barua ya mazalibwa okufuna certificate uh, yo mfisa simanyi bo bache ekigambo ekitufu ne adoption orders uh, mu Uganda adoption baji batya muja kunyamba process e yokufuna endaga muntu esokera dalala ya bwerere omuntu ngabadde agadde okufuna endaga muntu atandikira wa LC1 chair we wokchalo wajja ebaruwa emwanjula eri nira ene barua enokuva enokuwebwa omuntu ajagala bwerere te wajisa sulira Ebaruwa ye mujo joku tuwala ewadiso, ajikone mustambu, ajisaini ngeko. Eda na kuku wawelele. Bana abantu bonawe nukode wakozi wa government, eda basa suruwa emisara, oba allowances, okusobola tukole emili mwejo, jenja uro. Bojamu nira, okufune ndaga muntu yu esoka, na kuku wawelele, togenda jisa surira. Oja kusasura ngo ya wavuze endaga muntu yo. Oba ya, nga, ya, wa, ya menyeka, ya yono oneka. Oba ngo ya kuongela ko information. Oba kuja ko information. Chetuita change of particulars on the card. Ere sente zisasuriwa zili, zili emituare etamu. Zisasuriwa mubank. Era nechikutanza no gena no sasure sente zo. Elio muntu guosanze kukubo chizibuto tuka atirizante sente zonezi sasuri wafune ndaga mundu zino kusasuri wamu bank na yo kwe wandiso kusokira dalo kufune ndaga mundu kwa wele tuja kenda maso nga tukula gana na evitongo levidara vya government omuli polisi wetuze, wetuze tukula gana na vo uh, kabanga kaweze Oku, oku gobelele nso onga zino Wetu sobode tukute ya abantu abamu Tuba tute mukoti Era bali makomera Era te tuja kuja kuo kwe ngalu Tuja kwe yongira okulaba anti tunyweze nso ongeno Abantu wa fe baleme kufiru wa sente za abwe uh, Mungeri etali ya kwenkanya Wabaddewo echibuzo uh, echikwata gana na abantu abata naba kujayo national ID zaabwe ngajaga gamba nti omulimu obo bvunanyizwa obo kujayo card okuva mu nira buli buli muntu eye wandisa gwe yagenda no saba yo card go gendo kusitu kiamu ogendo jijeyo jewe wandisiza nira eja kusobola ogende eri mu byalo okugeza ako okufunza uh, distance obo bwangu bwe ngendo nge sente weziri wezita bawo kwetuli official point of service ya fe eri ku district e kulyo kumpi oba ku division offices za fe Ezenja uro etano wano mu district, mu area ya Kampala. Wabadewe chizvuze chilala, nti waliwo betuganyo kuwa national ID, mungeri e, e sosola, nira yaga kukatiriza nti tewali gwe tusosola. Omuntu yena ayagaru kwe wandisa okufune ndaga muntu, aina okutukiriza ebyetaago ebimukiriza okufuna endaga muntu ebyetaago ebikwatagana ne citizenship oba amazali wa go muntu bwoba toli na Uganda tojja kufuna ndaga muntu ya Uganda Abagwira oba abantu abazze mu Uganda 
tuba niriza na yeba jakuli indako jebuja tugenda tani kukuandisa abantu abenja ura batariba na Uganda na yenga bali mu Uganda mugutogole siva iba nabaita mupanya neba ingira Uganda neba tani kukukulaji okole mirimu wabanga waita mitendele mitufu oku ingire guanga tuja kuandisa tukuwe endaga muntu jetuita alien identification card doza mbufunze bie bie vintu bie nandiaga dokudamu nja beba za uruwa kasera kano ee obude obude wetu tuwala okuza wenda gamundu obanga wabade wajibu za yemu no obude obutuwalibwa okufurumia enda gamundu esoka tewali nja uro chisi nzira di wobo kozechi wobo we wandisiza wobo osavye okuza wenda gamundu yo era tuja tutuwalira ebanga liya wiki singa satu waliwo ensonge yokubanti obo omuntu abadaga dokuza okola transaction katugambe mu bank oba mu telecom akola chi ngabadde alinzo okufuna endaga muntu ye empya bo bango baddo osabye endaga muntu empya nge eri yabula oyinzo genda mu office ya fe yonne kuli okumpi no sabayo ebaruwa ekakasa nti information yo tujina era tujja jikukolera nti omwami masembe fred yabuze ndaga muntu ye na ye atandise process yo kujizawo nini ye yeno amanya gegano olunaku wa mazalibwa gegano era jo jo kendo okozese okuza wo sim card yo obo genda mu banka yo okole ekyo tobo okoze echi tobo yagaddo kola waliwo ensonga nti orusi information eno etwale banga deni okutuke eri ebitongole ebyenja uro obo omuntu wabya wandi yagaddo genda fenga nira tujja kuwa ebaruwa hard copy na ye information eri mu baruwa eyo yenyini tujja jiwereza eri telecom oba banka yo ngatuyita ku mukoto gwa internet na ye jukira nti interface ya fe nga nira eline uganda communications communi uh, 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 uganda communications commission mwe tuyita okuweleza information eyo electronically kati ya wainzo kuita we naku ngazizo nga information tena wakutuke eri mu 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 mu, mu telecom no lwensonge ebisere bisinga bobango zengo osabye baluwe tujja kugamba uh, wa mu enaku nga 23 oli okogendo ji presenting eri uh, awo nga tuba tukakasanti mwaka kasera information ejuzo kuba nge traveling etambude okuva munira etu set side eri jeyagala service ndoza nchize mu thank you Thank you very much, uh, Gilbert. We are now going to have uh, we are going to have uh, Jennifer from your name. Uh, Gilbert, you can sit there. Or A very good afternoon to you colleagues. Uh, my name is Jennifer Karule Musamba from UNEB. I bring you greetings from the Vice Secretary of UNEB and the entire staff of UNEB. 
Uh, today marks the third week of the in the conduct of the USC examination. Okay, thank you. Okay, I've been given permission to remove my mask. I hope it's okay with you. Okay. So today makes this uh, today is the third beginning of the third week in the conduct of the USC examinations which will be ending on the 3rd of May, 2021. Most high entry examinations have ended and uh, most candidates actually have now finished the examinations. However, the others are still going on and like I said, it will be going on until the 3rd of May, 2021. We've not had any major challenges except for a few issues of malpractice, especially at school, which are being investigated. In terms of malpractice, we have about 30 people who have been arrested in connection with the commission malpractice at PLOE, UCE, and even USCE levels. The school-based offenses were mainly to do with external assistance, impersonation, as well as um, collusion between the candidates themselves. Investigations are also underway for those who have been obtained, who have obtained money, they are in, uh, who have obtained money uh, by false pretense, by pretending to be selling donation papers, which are actually fake. The police is handling this, and uh, we shall be giving you the results very soon. Suspects who committed offenses after the 1st of April 2021 will be tried under the new UNEP Act 2021. The sanctions related to malpractice under this new act are either five million, uh, it, it could range from uh, a fine of five million shilling, or five years imprisonment, or it could be both. The marking of examinations has started and uh, we are coordinating our centers for the marking of PLE, UCE, and USC examinations at the various centers. In total, we have 40 examination centers, and we shall be housing 200, and uh, shall be housing 20,000 examiners to mark all the examinations for the over 1 million candidates who start for the examinations at the various levels. There have been concerns, especially from parents and students who are who are from school that have been affected by the marking centers. As a board, we are concerned about these concerns that have been raised. However, we want to explain that we have to conduct this, the marking has to take place. Examinations are being conducted and marking has to take place within a given first period of time so as to enable us to release results in a given period of time. If we do not mark at this particular time, the candidates will not be able to proceed to the next level of senior one, senior five, and even the higher institutions of learning. So the Ministry of Education has given us a leeway and asked this, these schools which have been affected to stagger their, their, their calendars, enable the candidates to get a half term for a period of about two to three weeks, to enable you to carry out the marking, and then thereafter, the candidates can be able, rather the learners can be able to resume school without any additional fees. The ministry also asked the schools to ensure they do not charge the, the learners in additional fees. And as the board, we also want to emphasize that fees do not add in additional school fees to the schools, where, to the learners when they come back after the half term. We also want to consider the security of the examinations and of the scripts. As a board, we cannot keep the scripts for a long time to, until the holiday come, until, until the time of the holiday. So we have to ensure to make sure what to ensure the marking takes place at this period in time. The other critical issue is why schools? I want to explain that as a board, our activities happen at designated places. Just like examinations, we don't conduct examinations from anywhere. They are designated centers where we have to conduct examinations. In the same way, because the issue of examinations is a security issue, marking has to take place at a designated center. And these centers happen to be the schools. Yeah. We have running from a contract with the school where the examination has got to take place, where the marking is going to take place. Under ordinary circumstances, marking takes place during holidays, and there is no inconvenience or no break, there's no inconvenience whatsoever. However, right now, this is a new situation. Nobody knew we were going to conduct examinations at this period in time. But now that it has happened, we have to conduct the marking. And so we appeal to the parents and the schools to please bear with us. 
the interruption will not be for a long time. It's going to be for two weeks for PLE marking, and uh, it's going to be for three weeks for UACE and UCE marking. We have 12 marking centers for PLE. We have eight marking centers for UACE and 20 marking centers for UCE. And the interruption ranges from between two weeks to three weeks at these centers, depending on where the center is, going, is located. As a board, we also want to add our voice to that of the Ministry of Education to ask the schools, both private and public, to please allow the examiners take off time to come and do this noble cause. We shall need examiners for this period to come and carry out the to come and help us with the marking. So we ask the school to release them unconditionally. The Ministry of Education has done the same, and we ask you to also do the same. Additionally, we ask you not to charge the parents in further fees after the half term. Please do remember the integrity and security money of examinations, as well as the health and safety of learners, is a joint responsibility. And we ask that we all take our own responsibilities and we fulfill our responsibilities. I thank you all very much. Thank you very much, uh, Jennifer, for that brief from the net. Do we, do we have any question or we go straight to Lugan? We still have uh, a lot to address. I have one question. Mm. As you are talking about uh, examination for marking, uh, things will easily be done In law, a person of 10 to 12 years cannot be seen by health mm -hmm. And these are cases that are committed by the teachers, administrators, and parents. Mm -hmm. Why do you penalize a member of the child who will not be able to participate in the commitment of the child? What's your thoughts about that? Uh, thank you so much. What happened that these candidates are taken through the regulations of examination? and they know the rules and regulations. They know either you collide, or if that's why I always warn them not to allow to be misled by either a teacher to assist you or give you prior knowledge or anything. Because we know once it happens, then you're also party. But also, we have a security committee which sits and assesses the magnitude of the problem and see what was the level of involvement of the candidates and the level of involvement of the of the adults. And our law spells that, that, spells that out very clearly. Of course, a candidate of 11 years will not be imprisoned for, 11, for, for five years. But then maybe the, the results may be canceled and they will have a dead year. And we always explain that over and over to them to make sure that they're not allowed to be misled by adults. Thank you. We're going to do Uganda just today. And then we, we have the next. Mwe bale nyo mwe bali ledala anze bampita Jennifer Karole Musamba nga njogere kitongo le kiteka teka ebigezo ekyayo nebo Olwalelo tutandise week yokusatu mu kuteka teka ebigezo byabayiza basinya yo mukaga abade bwawandike ebigezo byabo kumala weeks uh, weeks bibiri mabega Owenjogerera abayiza basinga bamaliriza ebigezo ebi uh, ebigezo byabwe nenge bizo bino bichagenda maso paka nga satu mwezo ko kutano because of you know, uh, to get a bit of a date, we see him on your Zibu, or could you have consumed your cases into not to know a Zava is the Ava, Avacopa movie, Avacopa Mosamation Room, nay cases is a external assistance, go over in digital teacher, Joke Yamba, or Mana, imposing impersonation, Olinga, Adiana, Nadim become Chifona Gamba, Yenzegundi, Nako Yo Mana, Ebikezo. Cases not another zona. zona Kuna eteka kwa gani vitongole, vino nyeleza, bagezwa wakuno nyeleza, ukula banti, chelewa kwa bila mungu, ainyza kwa ilizwa na inga mstango tia kuzwa. Kuna neke sese zawa mungu, ava ba devali mbali mbali, mungu gezwa kwa ukunda impapula, istali mungu, kuna wazima kwa mungu wajenga sinto mungu, ni baba ba busa busi vigezo, ba no ba 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 gezwa ba devali ukunda impapula hizo, ba no na wao polisi dipa no nyeleza kwa. Era singom sangu na banga kuba sinze 
bajja kuchajingiwa okugeza ko kufuna esente ku bantu mu bulimba nga bageza ko baguza kuza no kubaguza emba plus vita eza yunevo abantu wonna abaza emisango jino ngo nakuwa fa nga lumu mei lumu epolisewo bali bagenda kubanga ba 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 basali wo musango once we take card of pepia the name 2021 the name act 2021 nga once we take card no emisange je kusa kukuba ebigezo um omuntu ayinzo kucharging ba million 5 oba okusibwa emyaka 5 oba byombi kisinzira nye twina mu case za abana nga abana abade bakofa oba abana abasange bayambidwa banobo committee ya UNEB oje so security committee ya UNEB e tula ne salawo ne lava omusango gwa gwenkana chi maginti yenkana chi bana chi abali involved ne ne basa uchiti bayinza okubakolera wose bintu bayinza okubisa zamu oba sente bayinza okubisa zamu okusinzira nga committee bweba esazeewo okuma okugolola ebigezo nako kwa twatansogola ebigezo sinyo sana ebigezo bya PLE nga tugenda bigolera mu centers makumiana mu kwanga byonna Sita zis no no ge masumero abana bana abamu ge baba de balimu. Wuna mumu gatike tulina uh, tulina abagendo gole bigezo. Bali eni twalu ebidi abatuyama ko ugola ebigezo vino. Waba de wo o kwe mulukunya o kufam bazadde, ni mubana, ngabaga mba nsu kusuma kwawe kutata gany zi duamu, rokwanga yu nebe kenda gina kumasumero gawe, ukolola ebigezo vino. Nge chitongoli. Twagala oka twagala tugama na pe tuchitegera okusoma kwa abu kwenye kutoa gani zivua mu na yeye ati ministry biendi kilikuwa yaba denga ekiiza amasumero gano okulaba anga gasta gari ngo kusoma kwa abana bano basi kwa vya kabla katano nyio unyebe kule biyeteke dua kola then na baba kumu wasimese abana kwa tage banga ya wiki sibiri okumakinge biyeteke ya pieroi then ne banga ya wiki sato okumakinge biyeteke ya senior four ne senior eyo mukaga atusinzira center chi osimoje jejeri hostinga nga ekumakinga kuno nako kubanga tutwina okulaba anti tumakinga mu kisera ekigele okusobola okuliriza nga za abana bano mu budde atera obutufu okuyamba abana okubera nga bagenda ku level edako ya senior 1 ya senior 5 na bagenda mu higher institutions of learning so singa yitumaka nga bigezo bino ojja kwesa nga ntu wajja kubera wo wajja kubera wo tansi mu system ya education kiba saba nafe mu uh, mu bearing nafe tulo kumaka nga bigezo bino mu banga lino atwe no kuilizinga abana bagende ku next level of education mpozi nechi atwaga no bategeza nti papa za abana zino nazo ya security issue nge kitongo esetu akusereka au uh, kumale banga deni wanga singa bela obuzibu bonna bonna wesanga nga tuche abana abana egenda kubanga tataganyizwa tuno kuzima kinga amangu dala to izinga results yela amangu dala ichi abantu ali bebuza konti wachi tugenda matume tagende wantu nga nambole you never bintu ye tukola bili mu mateka ate tukola katinga ebigezo byetu bye tukola no kumakinga Bili na kuvela mchifonga chitongo linga chidesignated. Tuwa kujia nituwa kati. Tuwa kia nye nituwa kati wena kujia kumakingile kupolisi wano. Tuwa nga chituina chilukusa lumakingida wano. Katuwe sanga ngulukusa yutulina kwa ni kumateka. Ama sumero. Lega kiliziwa ukumakingila mu evigezo vino. Uwe sanga tuwa nevi evi etago vya tuwe etaga. So tuwe sanga nga tuwa kujia ama sumero gano. Betuwa yutulina nga tuwa kwa na wye nteka teka. Running contracts with these schools. Aje tugenda genda okumakingira na ministry yo njigiza yabakiriza okulabanga basi takali musoma kwa abana basi kwa kumoko okuba wa half term male banga tukende okumakinga then all over nyuma basi bulaba na tubulo kuddayo nenga tubongede bachajinga sente ndala nape twa okusaba somesa bale me ne bahe teachers bale me okuchajinga abasomesa oba abazadde rather abazadde na abana sente ndala nga bakomyo okusomero okuvanya maru wa half term era mu ngeri emu ministry yakiriza abasomesa bitukolesa nga ba examiners nabo okujja okutwega tako okumakinga twagalero okusaba ba head teachers ne ba directors 
masumera ga government na ago wananyini okukiriza abasomesa bano okujjo kulo mulimo guno ogwe gwanga batembata de ku gwa kulizo bonna kwatire wamu twanga kunanyiza wa fepena okulaba nge bigezo byabana bano nza sizawe bivayo achela mu budde nebazizanya thank you very much uh, jennifer very precise briefing. Thank you. Uh, next we are going to have uh, the UPDF mm -hmm. and Minister of Defense spokesperson. Brigadier. Because <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Uh, go, go, dear members of the press, you want me to. What did the president say? You want me to record <laughs> a killer? So, dear members of the press, allow me to say a very good morning. It's afternoon already. Sorry. A very good afternoon. That means I've been here for quite some time. Uh, through you, I wish to bring to attention of the public the continued hate campaign and subversive utterances made by a section of Ugandans who, with the help of external forces, are bent on destabilizing the country and dividing Ugandans along tribal sentiments. These people believe that they can achieve their objective through different ways and means. But the recent one is uh, they are saying that they are going to mar the swearing in ceremony of the president elect come 12th May 2021. Intelligence has picked information to this effect. And as I'm going to show you, we have confiscated posters or placards with words, first May, Kusiba, Togowe Abahima, and Itaja Kulaira, no Muganda, Afgeko. Then you get a call? No. Itaja Kulaira, no Muganda, Afgeko. And first May, Kusiba to go away, Abahima. Uh, not to sound political, we are all aware that the President of the Republic of Uganda and Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces has, in very clear terms, warned against such tribal and sectarian tendencies. They are not only negative, but they also affect the social economic transformation of Ugandans and Uganda as a country, but also the region as a whole. But most importantly, they are fodder for those who would like to erode Uganda's hard-earned peace and stability. As security forces, we are hereby reaffirm our resolve to fight all negative forces, including divisive tendencies and negative propaganda. Any person or persons who stand in the, peace, in the path of peace and stability becomes an enemy of the country and shall therefore be dealt with decisively. Ugandans are therefore advised to desist from such acts because they are not productive. We already have plans, or plans are already underway, to take action 
against the perpetrators. This is also, may I say that this is also to sound a warning to anyone with such a plan to stop it forthwith or to stop it immediately because we are aware of the plans, we know where they are, but we cannot, I can't say them now, not to jeopardize the operations. But on a lighter note, allow me to thank the bigger majority of Ugandans who have said no to negativity, who are peace lovers, who stand for peace and stability, but also who stand for development of our country. And also allow me also again to thank Ugandans who have accepted to stick to the COVID-19 SOPs and also those ones who have taken the vaccines. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much. Uganda? Yeah, let's try to do it. It's very clear. Eranga ambasabi yenti inga mpita mumwe njagala okutege zobo kugamba na Uganda nti wali wo okugenda maso okwa campaign oba ebikuwe kweto ebi obu chai nebi okwa ula ya ulaba na Uganda eba nebi okule etela obu talibu tewe nkevu mu Uganda ngaba na abantu wa nubweba tibayambi wako forces ate ezitali mu Uganda aba abanyu milu okulaba anga tuwe na nubu samba chuko Ata tuza tucho gira lunyenti, haba ntubati ya nyo Uganda ngojeko COVID-19. Haba ntubati ya nyo Uganda rate kwe kulira, ni kwe vada gende la maso. No recha uwe baliba anji, haba titizi, haba sala uo, haba saze uo koze saa, haba ntubati ya nyo Uganda rate kwe kulira, ni kwe vada gende la maso. No recha uwe baliba anji, haba sala uo, haba saze uo koze saa, haba ntubati ya nyo Uganda rate kwe kulira, ni kwe vada gende la maso. Baina engeli nyo, mwe vada ukulise bintu ino, na ye echimu kubio, echiru waka akati chakula banga, bale etobu vio, mkula ira kwa president, agendo umpia, agendo ukula ira nga kuminabili, mei date webanga, techu ukanga. Habewe vitongole, ebyo kwe linda, chino, obu, bata ba, ba, piki, nze, ba genze, bafuna, ebi ntubino, mwoparation, ze zenja ulo, eda, echimu kubio, obu kakafu, che chino, ebi wandi yiko vino, bietu wazude, echimu nga chiga ambanti, nga lumu, Bata doo nga lumu. Nga lumu mei. Wagenda kuwela yo okusiba. Wabachiko tujite prayer and fasting. Okugoba. Aba hima. Ntiera. Ntikadja kulaira. No muganda. Afugeko. Botuwa tuogela saga la. Kuluobu taulikika. Nga muna vya bufuzi. Na ye. Na ye. Njagala kujukiza bani na Uganda omkule mbeze wafe, president, alikokati, jeno yowe likaguta mseveni. Azenga atulabula mungjogeda oba mkuogeda oku nja ulo nimbitu ndu ili nja ulo. Nga alabula, nti, tajia kukiriza. Yengo mkule mbeze, oba abali, abali mkule mbeze, tebajia kukiriza. Echintu chona eche kusa, kunjogede ya eleta, ama wanga, obo kuwa wakano kuwa takuma wanga, obebe dini, obebe intu, ebi dalabio na, ebi kowe, ebi yo. Kuwanga, tebia tabibu wakabu kamba antu na ye, bizi iza, ne mkula akula na, ebi guanga, atenga fena fena, jetuetaga. Kuwanga, tuchima nyinti Uganda angensi, tucha ina, the biggest part of our population ndo uzabagamba nkaga muna ana oso, echali, Mumbere mbi yetago kuja iso. Kumkule mbeze, echaze, achogera. Atafenga, abebe yokuwe linda tuga ambanti. Ngo jeke ebi, na ye eno mere. Eno, ebi ntunga bino tendensi zingazi no. Mere, edi abo, abaga lo kulaba anga wali wobu samba tuko, mu Uganda. Abaga lo kulaba ange nsene menye kamenyeka. Abaga lo kulaba ange dembili guawo. Abaga lo kulaba ange nsi edayo, jiava. No Rachel, ngabe bitongole ebyo kwelinda twagala okuddamu okugamba banna Uganda chiite okubagamba chiite okubalabula chiite echo nacho yagala na yenga twagala kugamba nti tujja kulwanyisa forces zino zonna 
ezireto kwa ukana mbana Uganda. Ezino ezo kuruwa nisa unu propaganda kuno kukogeda binebita tuluka ganye ebi obu limba. Abali ebweru, abali muno. Yona tuja kufayo okubiru wanyisa na amanyi ageta agisa. Era tugamba, ndi omuntu yenna oba abantu bonna aba imirira mu kubo eri emirembe no butebenkevu abafuse mulabe wa Uganda era abafuse mulabe wa banna Uganda era uyu ajja kwati bwako na manyi gonna agetagisa ngambi agetagisa saka sukide na yaga kola chi agetagisa no recho banna Uganda tubasaba tubalabula tubasaba tubajukiza era tubagamba Oku, okwe wala, ebi kuruwa vino vyo na, kubanga tebitu yamba. Fenanga abantu, ate fenanga ensi, mu Uganda munda, ni mu region mwotuli. Plans oba ebi kwe kweto, webidi, ukulaba anga abantu wanubo na, bako atibwa, kuonga mateka, wegala gira. Eda, kankoso mkusagu mkugamba anti, wuna baba dene plan, ukwala bulako jasi kubabida kububizi. Chibana nge, bikuwa kwa towe bidi, edaba ina plani, bandi ziko meza. Kubanga, chuba manji jebali, ebitundu webali tubi manji, uwa kwa lila tumanyi uo, sisa wala biyo geda kati, ura reasons, zenja ulo, nadala yeo uyo kweri nja. Na ye, maliri zanga ngamba, tinge yonvu deyo, mwuzikiri ze, okwe bazaba na Uganda. Abaga zive mirembe, abaku mibe mirembe kubanga mirembe jino tejandi ba dosi ngaba na Uganda te bakiriza kutuyamba ko na yaba abantu kwasiza ko kulabanga Uganda etebenkera abantu kwasiza ko kulabanga ensi ekula akulana abantu kwasiza ko kulabanga bagana ebintu nga bino njagala okubebaza ennyo ennyo era ne nyongera okwebaza abo bonna abakiriza okugoberera covid 19 sop mwe bale nyo okumpuliriza Kale kamu, bubiri boka ono no, kwa ngachi ba de very clear. Okay. Eh? Chilo. Na koka kodi yo. Two questions so that we wind up. Mm. But, uh, yes, my name is Francis Komala. I work in the city of Uganda. I want to think if another tactic may be possible to give them a lot of pressure in front of the country. Maybe it would be green to us uh, uh, where this is not possible. Uh, where the country is and maybe what the resources don't have to be. Cliff, uh, you've, you've heard what Cliff has said that perhaps these are not other what? He has in mind, no, it's not. This is true. We have no reason whatsoever, absolutely nothing, to pretend or to bring such to Ugandans. Even if we wanted to get funds, we have the money, but we don't get funds through such. Yeah, we are not propagandists. So, Cliff, this is true and correct. And uh, we have not made any arrests so far. We have not, I will not tell you where they are because they would jeopardize our oppressions. At this point in time, thank you. Last no, question. Banange, tetu wambanga kuwa antu, netu kwa tabantu. Na ya tolu wale netu kwa zechenja ulo. Netu, netu gamba tulabula, tusose okulabula. Tusose okula chi, okulabula. Ayakalo okulira, haulire. <tos> Na chuse munda ni ngamba, anti kubude buno, tigenda kugeda. Echo mchinde kere, mchitule kere. Necho mba mmanyi niti kino jechili chikenda maso, ata kuno siku saga, vino fete tubi sagi na mu. E, kwa te chituwe takisaduwa ndiko kujeche chintuwa kuchoge dako. Ne mulabule, mikuwano jamwe, mulabule jamubeda, niti vino babiveko, babideke. E, kwa te tuagala bujomuta ya gala kulaba ambeda, radio unge genda maso. So, 
Bane mwe bali nyo kumpuliriza mwe bali letala. Echibuza cha Cliff. Echibuza cha Cliff. Cliff ya Gambia mbu. Ntina yebino oba mwe mubi yekoli ya musogolo kufuna kusente. Neda Cliff. Bino bino Cliff tetubi yekoli la tetuna biyekoli la tu inengeli nyingi nyingi tusogolo kufuna musente. Butuwa tuzeta aga. So sivi yekole tuwa babi kutebu kwasi. Tetuwa biyekoli de. Tetu ina fe tuli je. Edia government tuli je etendeke. Pen. <laughs> 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 Can we have some order, please? Uh, you, Uganda Radio Network, please. We are going to disconnect the network. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we are going to have the next briefing from uh, Uganda Prisons uh, Services. Can we have some order in the house, please? Because Are we, we listening to each other? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am happy to be here today to share a few notes with you. Uh, to begin with, we have 61,633 prisoners by this morning. Uh, of those 51% are remands, 49 are convicts. 49% are convicts. And of the total population, 2% are women. They are kept in 260 prisoners and being manned or controlled by 12,000 staff. Uh, in as far as COVID-19 is concerned, we have had 1,079 cases. 1,078 cases have been out of the treatment centers, including one death. And right now we have one person in our treatment centers, uh, which is still a record performance. Concerning vaccination, we received 10,000 doses of AstraZeneca vaccine. And so far, 9,920 people have been vaccinated. So we are remaining with about with 80. I think by now they have even gone down because the process is still going on. Uh, and so we, are, we, are, we appreciate the Minister of Health and the Government for having thought about us as critical working force to be protected through this pandem pandemic. But of course, as all of us are aware, the situation is keeping on changing to the worst, uh, worst in other areas like India. I think over the weekend they, scored, they recorded the worst mm. recent death. Over 2,700 people dying per day. Over 130,000 people getting infected in a day. And actually up to this morning, all the channels are tuned, they are indicating India has totally run short of oxygen. I think Singapore, China, about three countries have come in rescue, but you know, the warning we get is that we should not relax and think all is safe. We are still in, in danger and we need to fight this. I also want to use this forum to explain that this social media rumor which has been speculating that uh, Segirinya was vaccinated and he got a reaction from the vaccine in prison is false because the vaccination has been exclusively or is exclusively for the working staff of Uganda prisons, prisoners. I mean Uganda prison staff. Uh, for the case of prisoners, those who will be there, we are hoping they will benefit when we get the second batch of vaccines between May and June. So right now, 
if anybody emerges from any prison masquerading that he has been vaccinated, that is a brandant lie. It's strictly staff of Uganda prison service that have actually been vaccinated. Uh, I also want to inform you, because I'm getting calls, irrespective of my talking and talking, people are willing to be conned. A number of people are continuing to be conned to pay people so that their sons join Uganda Prison Service as recruit warders and ward races. I'm here to announce that the window period which was given for those to enter is done and complete. Anybody who lies to you that there is the other specialist coming is a liar and you can still not smuggle in a person who did not go through the due process. So please, spare your money. Invest it in something that is productive. So, Uganda Prison Service does not take any responsibility for anybody who willingly pays a con man for purposes of securing a job which does not exist. And then turns around and starts crying all over for having been conned by the staff of Uganda Prison Service. Those are con men. They are not staff of Uganda Prison Service, and government jobs are not sold. The moment you see yourself engaging in a process of paying for a job in government, then you are part of the fraud. Actually, if there was a way that the police cameras were working, you would be arrested alongside. Because it's not true. Do not waste your money. Do not lose your money. And even your children, you can be sure you, your son or daughter will not enter the, the, the training school because the, the, the gates for the trainees are now closed. What remains is what is the process which they will go in until they pass out. I hope I've been clear on that. Two, on our websites, and very many I've seen on very many social media fronts, the shortlisted cadet ASPs that are intending to join Uganda Prison Service are very clear. The most important thing is if you have applied or you, are, you have a son or a daughter that applied, check the shortlist. When you check that shortlist, find the day you are, your son or yourself you are going to do the, exa, the, the, the aptitude. Because entering Uganda Prison Service is a process. The application stage ended the shortlist stage has ended. Now we are at the stage of aptitude. Aptitude is conducted in Makerere University. Faculty, is it College of, it is College of, I think it's College of, of, of Information. It's College of Computing and Information Science. Not anywhere in Makerere, Broke B. That's where the interviews are going to be conducted. Make sure you are there on the date where your name was allocated. And the time is 7.30 a.m., not 9 a.m., but 7 what? 30. This is a written interview. So you are either there on time or you will actually not finish that interview. And when you don't finish, of course, the results will lead you to the next stage. So. The dates of the interview are 2nd and 3rd of May, starting 7.30 a.m. Please, I'm sure you have even got the message. Uh, if you have not got the message, you go to the list. Make sure, according to the, that list, you appear the date you are supposed to appear. If you are supposed to appear on 2nd and you come on 3rd, you are not eligible for that interview. Please. The interviews are conducted at Makerere University. Last time we got an incident where about two people rent prisons headquarters asking where to sit for the interview. Interviews are done in Makerere University, Faculty of Computing and Information Science College. They are now colleges, they are no longer faculties. You know now we are aged. For us they used to be faculties, but now they are colleges. So Makerere University, College of Computing and Information Science is the center for 
your aptitude tests. I am doing this to volunteer because a number of people don't want to care about what affects them. They want to ask other people, and other people will tell them they, uh, what they also want to hear, and they end up complaining for missing out very important chances. So I hope those who are shortlisted are already aware or should be aware by my communication. And please stop bothering anybody if the name has not appeared on the shortlist. The moment you see the list come out, then that means you have to try another, another time. Your chance is gone. There will be always masqueraders who can claim they can go to whether state house or where to get you on the list. But those are just con men. If they are women, they are con women. So you deal with them at your own risk. Because these are open systems checked by everybody and please follow the procedure. That's the right way to get employed uh, in Uganda prison service. Finally, I also want to clear the air that last week the Speaker of Parliament following a petition by Honorable Zake, the Speaker of Parliament, right Honorable uh, Aritwara Kadaga, directed the Committee on Human Rights to go to Shitaria and investigate the allegations. I'm glad to inform you that last Friday, 23rd of April 2021, we received the Parliamentary Committee on Human Rights. They spent the whole day in Chitaria. Uh, right now, I can't tell you what they found out because it is them to tell us what they found out. And therefore, those who are bothering me, especially the radio network and the CBS, don't call me about Chitaria again. Simply talk to, the, to, the, to those who, the members of Parliament on Human Rights who came to Chitaria, they have better information than me, or you wait until their report is presented on Parliament, then we shall discuss the, the details after they had done their presentation. Thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, Bailey. We can do Uganda. And, uh... Uruwarero, tu inawa sibe mituwaru mkaga, muru kumi, rukaga satu mba satu. Kwa abo, avacharele mba nemi saangobu di obutunda atano mchimu kuchikumi, ataba avasari le bari yebitunda na muenda kuchikumi. Avasiba avachara bari yebitundu bibiri kuchikumi. Bana avasiba bonaba ito ogela avasibitua mmakomera bibiri munga. Avasiri kala ababa kuma, Bari mtu wa rugumu mwe nkumi bidi. Awe tu imi lidoru wa liru. Kubikuwa taka nane COVID-19. Tu wakafuna abarwade rukumi nsambu mwenda. Abarwade rukumi nsambu mwenda anaba kawona. Nga muli muno omu. E ya fa. Tu wakafiru wa musibe omu kukovid. Achari mtu wa liru. Diaba sibe ali omu. Uh, Kubikuwa ataka na noku gema. Tuafuna dozes umutuwa rugumu. Abaka geme buka bari keenda ruenda mwabili. Na hewe njo gili rinambe yongira kukendira kubanga proses e, e chage enda mmaso. Uh, Norwecho tuwa gala kusima nyo uh, government ni ministry yibyo ulamu. Kubanti yegeziza akumu ungiri kubanti. Itaso uramu wa feno kuziza Echiruade cha COVID Nga tuitira mkugemewa Noruwecho Njaga la kukosa edobozi liyerimu Nebi sangana kumikutuja social media Ebi gamba nti Umuami segili inya Bamu gemera mkumera na hali yakti inga Ila cha genzeo cha vda Genda kwenu nyo vuja njabi Sibi tufu Teri musibe no umu E ya gemedua, e waya ya kagemewa uh, kuruwe chiruwa decha COVID. E ratu hinde subi, niti mkwa kuta anobagu wa mkwa kabo itu wanga tufunye uh, second batch e ya, e, e ya vaccines au uh, kukotijo kusinzira kubanga tusola kukugema avasibeba. So, eze ngambe zi singana, e razi sigala ngambo, nga si ntufu. Uh, Kubikuwa takana na avasirikare, avayi ingira e chitongo lechama komera. 
wenjo gerera abawe dare ya wanse di betui tabari kurutuo dani wodres boda ba mazoe kuingi la mungambi abawe imbi bwanti wari yodi standardi jari onorwe chumba ba 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 wewe center abawe firi abawe firi ma ba imba ati tutoa gara mtukabi di kubanga budi na kujio budi wenzi jawa nujio gera kuchigamba ba firi abawe garu ba imba imba anti abana ba mwe ba ba ingi zemu mu mu chitongo di chama komera eje agama kuwa makuku tu 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 kuzesa Nuruwecho, te wawa wa kulimba tayagara sente mwana wa ingire makomera nga wodo ba wedress kubanga emiliango tu wamazo kujigalawo kati chisigade ye training no kubanga ba furuma kugenda kukola chi mirimu jabu. Kati kwa wada chaine mu kawasi wasa kagaru ukono nensimbi. Please rekera ukono nensimbi. Ziko zise mwebi dara ebiyo mukeso kubanga ebiyo ziteka mu eyo diri mfu. Bo kara gana na bo bafere. Uh, Kukwa taka na neba kadet, inkana na zabo zafuluma, uh, e, 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 ukumara stage ine jevari kundi, baadhi kaya baadhi tempapula, nitwa tu shorti listinga, hati ba kina makerere kora aptitude, aptitude jeva kina kore la makerere jeva kina jiko la angi na kuzomwezi biri nessa tu sinzira, uh, erinjali wili wili gua murukara la wali wali stage. Mbade mba sawa, mkuzi semi kutuja Facebook o wane ne, 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 ne website ya prisons. Mulewe, diru wa ino kubani kukenda kukura interview. Elinyari ya rubo ya kubani kubani wa kukura ena kuunga bidi. Weno gende ena kusatu. To genda kukura interview kubani wa kukura ena kubani wa wede. Computer ya bata ina rinyari yo. Kubani vyo 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 Ate batandi ka sawo emu ne chitundu si sawa satu. Botade bo botale bo teka ko sawa satu ezo zina abazizo. So interview eno tugenda zikole eh, bagenda zikole la makerere uh, college of computing and information science. Abai interview ziri makerere te ziri prison headquarters te ziri ruzira te ziri rugogo ziri wa makerere gena nebi kuogira ko ugende makerere fakarte i mean ku, ku college of computing and information science broke bi yo jokolera interview yo bo ba wa 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 biri oba wa satunga mei checking a christ oraberi nyaliyo weligwa kijja kwangulira era na neddo bozi nyongera ko ndiyabaye Tewawa awe atada mwa barimba nti ya devano ba genze kora up to two di fetu cha ya niliza bwe muwa kasende. Abo ba fede. Chino njati baya amba koku baga amba nti bwe era bwe kora gana numu fede. Toka habanga wama zo kukuba. Bwe wawo ya gare echi tufu tu kilira ebi fo ebi tufu. Uwe tuli okubawa information in tufu. Na eje muko moko kutambula makukutu. Jewa kumoko baba atene mudo kukweka abia nti batu bie. Teri ya baba mwe mwe bisa. Uh, Nechi semba yo. Kona uh, lebo zake. Ya raja nila parliament. Nje e, komele liye chitari ya. Uh, Rifuse chilara. Ela right hona lebo speaker wa parliament. Nawe chila gira kachiko. Aka parliament. Ake dembe liyobu ntu. Okugende chitari ya kulaba biche vigenda maso. Kuruoku taanonga habili musatu ugoku na. Uh, Mwezi kuno. We 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 can avoid the crook turn. Era ba je chita ria neva siva yo neva neva ra ba biwa ra ba neva buza biwa buza. Ere bi singa ko neva buza bo siku ba siku ba buza ans. Nadara ba radio network a ne CBS. Temu damu kuungu vira ku je chita ria. Mubu buza ba ba kaba paramenti. Ova mu kume reporti furume tu yoketu wogere ku reporting e kozeti ni furume. Nebio amwe ba le okumpuli. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, very good afternoon. I think we are going to be brief. In the interest of time, we have two areas to address. The first area we are going to address is uh, that of online application 
for certificates of good conduct or police clearance with effect from the 3rd of May uh, 2021. So we wish to inform the public that the Directorate of Interpol intends to launch the online application for booking of appointment for taking fingerprints for the certificate of good conduct or police clearance certificates. Now why we are doing this, it is due to the increase in the demand for certificates of good conduct. You are aware these are uh, certificates that are required in a number of processes and transactions. In the year 2020, we had uh, 33,720 applications that were processed. But this year, 2021, in the first four months alone, that is from January to April, a total of 36,016 applica applications have been processed so far. So you can see the increase in the demand for the certificates of good conduct or police clearance certificates. Now, cognizant, cognizant or in cognizance of the threat of COVID-19 and in further efforts to minimize congestion at the Directorate of Interpol, which is mandated to issue certificates of good conduct, the UPF will be launching the online application for certificates of good conduct on the 3rd of May at the Directorate of Interpol. Now the aim is basically to extend very timely service delivery for applicants, reducing on the number of crowds at the directorate, efficient processing of applications. It's also going to help reduce errors in processing applications, reduction in paper records, eliminate, elimination of duplicate records. Also costs are going to reduce and there's going to be an improvement in service delivery and uh, customer satisfaction. So we want to thank the director of ICT in the UPF for developing the online application. This is a good innovation due to the efficiency and effectiveness of the arrangement. And the biggest consumers right now of these Interpol services are the labor exporting companies. And uh, we believe that they will find this fundamental change in our operations uh, very, very uh, effective, and we ask them to adopt this. Now, we are going to upload uh, the summary of the process on the UPF website, and we are also going to widely share this. It is a very simple process that if you log into the UPF website, that is www.upf.go.ug, and you click the service tab, it is going to generate a form for you uh, whereby uh, you can uh, then, after generating that form, you can go and make payments in the bank or via mobile money or by use of a visa card, and then you book the date of appointment. The date of appointment, uh, if it is confirmed, then you go to Interpol for fingerprints with the usual items. That is two passport size photos, proof of payments, photocopy of biodata page of the passport, and all national ID for the Ugandan citizens. Now, of course, after lifting fingerprints, it can take between five to seven days. Uh, for you to be notified by message on your email address when the certificate is ready for collection. So the process is going to be simplified. On the website you'll get it, then also those who have the UPF Mobi, we are going to also uh, avail this information so that you can easily uh, log on to the system. That is about uh, the online application. Now. We also want to indicate to the public that uh, a total of 153 officers accused of misconduct have been dismissed, others are pending dismissal. Uh, this is uh, 
something we want to inform the public that the police authority and the police council appointments that is appointments and promotions committee for subordinate officers these two uh, uh, these two entities are respectively responsible for overseeing the police disciplinary complaint system and uh, it is out of uh, uh, that mandate that they have been able uh, to dismiss officers and also recommend for dismissal officers who are found to have breached standards uh, under the police. Those who are not aware of the disciplinary complaints against the senior officers and officers who are charged in the criminal uh, courts of law across, that is from constable up to uh, AIGP, are dealt with by the police authority, which is chaired by the Honorable Minister for Internal Affairs, while the other disciplinary complaints against subordinate officers are dealt with by the police council, uh, chaired by the Inspector General of Police. Therefore, the public should note that disciplinary action in the police ranges from a caution, a serious reprimand, reduction in rank, written warnings to dismissal, uh, written warnings up to dismissal. All of these are determined by the disciplinary courts, which are led by competent panels from the respective unit or territorial uh, disciplinary unit to the Court of Appeal at police headquarters. Now, amongst the categories that we have, uh, those that are, are for dismissal, we have a total of 23 who were summarily dismissed. Some of their cases range from 2016 up to 2019 following internal disciplinary actions. Out of the 73, 41 were absent from duty without official leave. Contrary to section 44, subsection 1, code 20B uh, uh, of the Police Act. Six were charged with discreditable or irregular conduct. Five were dismissed for neglect of duty. Twelve on grounds of scandalous manner. One for causing loss to government property. Three for drunkardness. Two for withdrawal from duty. One for damage to clothing or <coughs> articles supplied for duty. And two for disobedience of lawful orders. That's the first category. The second category is personnel pending formal dismissal. That means that their hearing, their disciplinary hearing, was concluded and they were recommended uh, for dismissal. So they are just awaiting the formal uh, dismissal by the Police Council Appointments and Promotions Committee. Under this category, we have 18 subordinate officers who, were, who fall under uh, um, charges of scandalous behavior, corrupt practices, away without official leave, neglect of duty, discreditable or irregular conduct. Then we have a third category which comprises officers already charged by the Police Council Appointments Promotions Committee. And this one has 54 officers who were discharged. The others were dismissed. These ones were discharged. You get the point. From the force, also for being absent without official leave, neglect of duty, the various offenses that we uh, keep on indicating. Additionally, we have eight officers who are also pending formal discharge. That means their disciplinary hearing process was concluded and they were recommended uh, for discharge under the various offenses. Therefore, as a force, we expect the highest uh, professional standards from all our officers. Any allegations of uh, behavior that do not meet the set standards are rigorously investigated in accordance with the Police Act and standing orders. We believe this is going to help the public to have confidence in police officers uh, who have a duty to be honest, act with integrity, and not compromise or abuse their position. 
So all the officers who have, who have been indicated here, those supposed to be dismissed and discharged, are 153. And all the cases against them of gross misconduct were proven. And for that matter, they cannot continue enforcing the law in the police or using their positions. Now, there have been concerns regarding the recent promotions against the salary scale of uh, some of the officers who are in the category of other ranks, that is uh, uh, from police constable up to sergeant. You are aware that uh, uh, in the last enhancement of salary scales where they were looking at the critical mass of the of the lowest uh, uh, civil servants in police, the other uh, sister agents, so that is the prison services, medical, and so on, they looked at uh, the lowest ranking cadre. These ones had enhancement of their salaries uh, to an extent that uh, uh, it was, their salary scale was a, a bit higher than uh, their superiors at the level of inspectorates. Now I want to inform you that uh, uh, the Minister of Public Service, uh, through the Permanent Secretary, that is Mrs. Catherine Bitarakwate Musingwire, has uh, uh, released a circular which is uh, uh, going to harmonize uh, the pay in the Uganda Police Force and Uganda Prison Services and uh, this is uh, going to uh, take effect with July uh, 2021. That is 1st of July uh, 2021. So the enhancement for the inspectorates and so on is going to be conducted during that period. Therefore, our colleagues from the media who are raising concerns about uh, that conflict in the pay of our officers, this now serves to uh, address to address that and maybe uh, to conclude I would wish to uh, inform you that uh, regarding the the robbery that the home invasion robbery of the uh, Chinese at uh, at Chambogo uh, we had follow-up operations which were continuing and we want to inform the public that uh, the person who masterminded that home invasion robbery at the Chinese home at Lower Chambok Estate was arrested in a follow-up operation by our task teams. He was in his hideout in Maya, uh, that is uh, at Naziga Zone, where he's a businessman. And this suspect is identified as Kazirwe Fred, alias Kali Smart is a 40-year-old former convict and also a businessman of Nazi Gazon in Maya. Of course, uh, uh, he's a close associate of Edison Mwangu, the team leader whom we arrested about a week ago. They met at Luzira, uh, where they were on remand, and after their release in 2018, that is when they teamed up and started researching on potential, potential targets for robbery and its allied offenses. So they clearly admit how they trailed the Chinese target, surveilled his routine, and robbed him of Uganda shillings, 60 million, which is in conflict with the 85, which was being alleged by the Chinese. He received his share of 10 million and US dollars, 300, which was lavishly spending and also enhancing his business in Naziga. So he will be charged along his three accomplices who were taken to court on charges of aggravated robbery. These include Edson Mwanguzi, Moza Dan, and Mbabazi Judith. Then the other three who were on a mission together with the two others to cross into Congo are being charged with, uh, were charged with being in possession of breaking uh, implements. So uh, that is the additional update that I thought we should get to give to you. We can take one.
question and then we go to Luganda, then we can have CID to wind up with any updates. But we can go straight to Luganda in the interest, interest of time. Chiroga is going to, to give you. Now, uh, this other murder you're talking about of uh, the murder and aggravated robbery of Brigadier General Abraham Wani Yoane Bondo, who was uh, an active soldier of SPLA from 1984 to 2013, is uh, still ongoing. Uh, we are still trying to uh, establish uh, leads that can help us to crack this investigation. Uh, what we can simply inform you that uh, the late Brigadier General uh, was formerly a security advisor to the governor of Central Equatorial State uh, in South uh, uh, Sudan. And uh, he was also once a deputy governor of Yei River State and it is in 2016 that he came to Uganda for treatment uh, following a sight, uh, an eyesight problem, but never returned uh, to South Sudan. So his family uh, followed him up to Uganda. And uh, at one time, uh, during 20, uh, in, in the year 2018, uh, he, while uh, staying in uh, Kiriandong refugee settlement. Uh, he, he survived uh, two assassination attempts against him uh, while at uh, uh, this uh, refugee settlement. And uh, this was a matter that was taken up by the Office of the Prime Minister and uh, UNHCR. And uh, I think they have been managing his situation. But uh, uh, we cannot... Uh, there are certain leads that we are following, and uh, we can't reveal them at this stage. But of course, uh, uh, the persons who could have uh, attacked him were very fluent in, the, uh, in South Sudanese language. So uh, we are following it also. It is one line that we are also following uh, in that respect. Mubumpi uh, Mpimuruganda, uh, uh, Tuwa gado kutegeza Banda Uganda anti Ukutandi kano umwezi Obuja Genda kuzo umwezi satu Umwezi Ogwa mei Bili ya bili mungu mu Echitongo lecha fe Oba uh, directorate ya Interpol Egenda kutongo za Enkola uh, Eyavo Aba Abasaba a barua certificate in a good uh, certificate uh, of good conduct over uh, what uh, police clearance certificate certificate season of the way of Yabazi Abazi Sabie Obanga Rubi Rogendo Kolo Murimo Oksabo Murimo Abuero Murimo Abagena Misomo Murimo Abasabe Murimo Emitongole Mulimuwa bagaro kumanya evi kuata ku, kumoto kaza abwe uh, Izo police clearance certificates na certificates za good conduct uh, Tutera okuzifurumia Nga tu, nga tulo ondora evi kuata kuoyo Asaba ebalu weyo Oba yaliye nyingi deko mvume nyivu wa mateka Oba nedda uh, certificate season is a good conduct of a zogera a kunei sayomu tu. And in science, you know, mkuru nyo nyo kubanga uh, kumpi buli guanga uh, lisaba certificate sezo uh, muku tambu za emili mweje nja ulo. Ichokula bila kumu mwaka bili ya bili uh, tuwaso vula okufuru mia certificate sezo za sabibwa emituare satu mwenku misatu Kusambu mwabiri 
na ye mu mwaka guno mu myeze na joka joka uh, twaka sunsula applications eziwerera dalala emitwale esatu mukakaga a uh, olabira dalala anti zisukka mu muwendo gwali wo mwaka ogu uh, uh, nenda ba ya 13 atenga twa tuchali mu mwezi gwa kuna so tusubira anti we tunamalira ko mwaka abasaba certificates zino bagenda kweyongerera dalala so kuno no bulabe kino che cha tuviriddeko uh, okulaba anti tutekawo enkola eya abantu kati okuyitira ku mikutu oba online okusaba uh, certificates zino oba applications okutekayo application no ku bookinga bill wo ina oku okugenda ku kitebe kikulu wogenda ku mabwa road ogenda no sanganga abantu bakunganye nga waliwo mujuzo muyitirivu echi echintu echo bulabe wakati we chirwa de chine cha covid 19 so tugenda kutongoza enkole eno nga kati omuntu kyaba ino kola ogenda ku website ya police uh, no lyoka ogurawo uh, no saba application yeyo no tandika okujuza no ku bookinga b Wosanga nga date job booking kuri ka kamyo fu chibachi tegeza ororo na kuwa julada kati oino kuboka ate no no nyoro na ku oruerere no sabolo kufuna na kuro no gele mubutongo le no lioko funa neva lioko ba kukora ko mubwa angudara tu suvira tichi no chigenda kuti yamba o kose sowa angowa mani o kukendezo mudzuzo. Uh, ukuraba anti mpapula zaabo uh, awabasaba abateka yu applications zaabwe uh, zita ambulanga nyonjo uh, temuli uh, uh, nukuma anti uh, tuja abantu wafteba na Uganda waga nyuruwa mungkole eno uh, egendo kuteke wawo Uh, Tuwa gala ila no kutegeza haba singo koze sa services ino na dalabo haba weleza haba uh, weleza haba koze welu na dalabo vio seza haba walabu uh, nchichino chiki enda kubangu ila kuanga bobe baba deba singila dala oku okuleto mjuzo uh, kuchitebe chinecha interpol so tuwa gala baanilize enkole eno ya teknolojia aba sobolenga okufuna uwangu mubumpi mpi omuntu asobolokenda ku website ya Uganda police ah uh, ngoyitira ku www.upf.go.ug au uh, form ya kujja ya application osobolo ku booking ad uh, rogenda ku uh, Interpol uh, Baja kula girira Sente ngabo ino kuzisa sura mo bank Uwa ku mobile money Uwa ku visa card uh, Teko ulu wenyini ruobo genda uh, Baku jeko Evia hapa binevyo munga Uwa fingerprints Uwa kula ango ina passport zo bili Ngabo lijo Uwa dewa kula Uwa kaka funti wasa suri desente zino Mo banka Uwa mobile money Uwa uh, ina passport Walu page ya biodata oba obo na Uganda ogende national ID olumaliriza okumaliriza we bamaliriza okujja ko ebya hapa bine ebyo mungalo kijja kutwala wakati we na kutano ku musanvu okulabanga certificate yo ya good conduct ekola chi efuluma so bino byonna mujja kusobola okubifuna ku website ya police oba ne kweno application Tuina ka app ka UPF mobi Kwa usobolo kufuna kusimu Information yeno Egenda ku uh, Tugenda kujite kayo uh, Pozi mu Ngerie mumu kawe fube Uwokula banti Abasirikale Abolesa MPCMB uh, Bata kwe sabukugu Mkutambuze mili mjawe mpolisi Abaziba siga Echitongole 
cha police and zero uh, to agaro kubate geza anti uh, police wade uh, bolesa mpc and siwu fumuchitongo le cha police abobe rira dala chikumi atano musatu abamba gobe dua abamba linda balu wazabwe eziwa fumu ula uh, mchitongo le cha police ebitongo le ebikule embera uh, mu kuno nyeleza oba mkwe tegeleza mpisa mu police e cha police authority chino nga chitu nulira neisa e, ya abo ofisa bata andikira ku mainja asatu wa ASP na ukuda wa guru uh, na chitongo le cha police council uh, police council appointments chino cho chitu nulira ba mainja abili na ukuda wa ansi ku police constable uh, Uruvanyimaru kwe tegeleza uh, Chia vudeo na chira gira Okugobe wa uh, kwa, basiri, uh, kwa wa polisi Avenja uru Avantu wa fawavuli joba Baino kumanyanti uh, Omsirikali um, na mpolisi Asoburu kukuru wako omsango Wabayo rese zempi sembi Era um, ev, O uh, Evone rezo bisi vuka mkumuwa echisonyo uo Ovo kumuwa andikira Ova okumu okukendeza Ovo kukendeza uh, Ama inja gaba ina Awamu mpozi na okumu fumura mchitongole So ere uruvanymaru kwe tegeleza Neisa yaba no Aba sirikale nsavu muba satu Abaze bolesa mpisi ensi ufu kufa bili kumina mkaga Okutusa bili kumina muenda Mpisango jabu jiva dejitambula Bano bafu mudua mchitongo lecha polis Anamu, anamu omu Bano baso ula okufa kumiri mjawe Mungiri emenya mateka Mkaga bano wala giradala mpisi mvundu Mkutambize miri mjabwe Batano kubo bala gajalire miri mjabwe Balala Bayo lesa mpisa ensi ufu Ezita gambika Mulimuwa bala etila government okufirwa Ebintu vyabwe Basatu wa balala Banovo bali batamivu Then Balala bale kulira Omulimu Nebada ye wakangu hude tevunaba Nabalala tuwako vede la bude So haba asatu mu Nsambu asatu Bago vede duwa mutongole Haba lala kumina munana Koti Ya vayo na ichi la girecho kubagova Elaba linda balu wazabwe Atena haba lala atano muba na Bano wagi enda kugove vwa Na iba andi genda na kasimu Chewa ita discharge Nti bago vede duwa na yenga Baso buru genda na kasimo Okusinzi ila kubanga Ya baba baweleza Mchitongo de cha polisa Atena haba la lamunana Na haba genda kugobewa Baruwe bagoba weli So tusu vila anti chino Chigenda kutu yamba Wanga umsirikali ya na ya na Aweleza evikulu wabi Bina kubanga Biago nkanya Atenga tebivu milira Abusobozi buwa buwa muwewa Iraba nobo na chikumi atano mba satu Nsonga zaabwe Baso vula okuzi ulida Mubutongole Ilane basa anga anga tewacha asana Kusigala mchitongole Echa polisi Kozi nechetu agala Okutanga za checho kumanti Ministry ya Public Service Okutanga dikana umwezi Oguo msambu ngarumu Yavudeo nechi wandiko Eri abakulembeze mpolisi Ne prisons Gebala ganti Okutandi kano umwezo ugo Bage nda kutereza Emisara java polisi Okuvira dala kudare Ria wansi Nukwe yongira yukulevo Ya yufo Wali wu Wali wu Echifana nechitari Chirunji nti 
Abasirikali okuva ku sergeant okudda wansi ku police constable bali bafuna omusala munene okusinga bamayinja bama ba inspectorates bakayinja kam na mayinja abiri mu kitongole cha police kino kyali kivira ko naba mukubbo okunyomerera uh, bakama babwe abaina ejinja limu na mayinja abiri na ministry ya video neraga anti okutandika no mwezo ogwo gwo msambu bagenda kuchitereza anti bulijewe yongere wa guru omsara go bino okwe yongera yo mu mu ngeri efana na bwetu pozi ne chetu agalo kusembya yo ekitongole cha fe cha bakesi mu kugazia echikwe kweto kukabonda ku akakoro bulumbaganyi uh, kumakaga wa China, elowa chambogo uh, Kaso wode okuwa tomvu uka gweba ita kaziwe Fred Ono ye ita karismat uh, Mwami ono wa miaka na mutuze we naziga Nga msuhuzi Walie mayaku lugudurwe masaka Era ono Yalio mugezi gezi e, Yalie mabega Wechi kuruweche choku Choku lumba makaga na gawa China uh, No kunyaga Esent. Ni wako wade, haba China wala ganti, baba babu kade, china na mbashumu utano. Wana wala ganti, sente ze babu bentufu, zari obu kade, mkaga. Kazibu ono, yafuna omugabo kwe, kwa milioni kumi, medola bisatu. Era, haba wade, ya zonge na mbiznes ye naziga. Endala, nga zikosa, okuchakala. Ono wamu, agenda, tugenda kumuonge la kukabondo kari akaso, uka. Omwali Edison Mwanguzi, Mozada Nembaba Zi Judith, Gweba wa teka kuo msangu ogwa kondo, ogwa kondo, Irana ye gwe msangu gwe mgumu. Kozi mungu kila walu uba nabwe bali ya balala, Betu wa sanganga, Bete geka oku sala, Ogende DRC, Bagende uh, mubikolu wabi ya wabi oku menya, No kunyaga. Uh, no so, chino chigenda kutu yamba, Okulaba anti, uh, tukendeza evi kuru wa hivyo menye mama teka Mwebale nyo, mwebale redara Nchitufu uh, uh, Ngena kuzo mwezi Ama kumi ya bili, umwezi guno, zari sawa uh, kumi, eze chilo. Uh, Walu generali omu, uh, manjiki duanga brigadia jeno Abraham Wani Yohane Bondo. Ononga yali mjasi wa SPLA, e South Sudan. Ukuvira dala chinana mwena, mpaka bili kumi nesa tu. Era yaliko uh, omuwabuzi wa governor wa Central Equatorial era na abera kwa na deputy governor mu uh, Yeye River State sangu wa South Sudan ono mu general yali yava e Sudan mu bile 10 na mukaga na je Uganda kumulongosa amaso na ete yasubula kuddayo era na soka abera mu babudami mu kitundu ekye kiryandongo na yene chiba anti Alaika ya liye no bulabe wamanyi Kuwanga Obulamu we babu geze sako Bage zako Okusanya obulamu we um, Chiri andongo uh, Refugee uh, settlement Emirundi ebiri Era office ya prime minister Na UNHCR Ya liye gobele renso nga zeno Okulaba ingiri jiba soburo Kumuonge la yo Temo si endala uh, Chamu kisa muvinyo nti Ono baso bolo kumuru mba uh, Neba muta uh, Bamu kuba Evisago bivamu tu saku Bivyamu vira kukufa Na yenga uh, Tuina uh, Chenandi gambi yenga Obujuli ziwe tugeza hako Okugazi yako Necho kubanti Avali ya mabiga wete mulino uh, Okusinzi la kumuwarawe Yatu nyonyo denti Kumpi bali bogira ululimirumu Uruwa South Sudan 
so nacho chigenda kutu yamba oba abalawe bavu de bweru oba baba de muno mu gwanga lya fu so awe tucha yimiridde ebikwatagana ne misala ejaba uh, ejaba uh, inspectorates ndawe mbagambye twina ekitongole ejaba echa echa personnel uh, wano tuchitebe ekikuru era chigenda kutunulira ensonga ze misala balabe oba uh, ari azizi nozo neze mabega zijja kusasulirwa ku mulundi guno oba zijja kusasulirwa masa ye nkola ya yafe ya munda ya bulijjo era tetuina nnyo buzibu nnyo nnyo ku kwatagana ne misala ku police webale nnyo katuna ba CID mutinyo nnyo le bitono tono Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me through Mr. Chairman to thank these gallant members of the press. And I bring greetings and sincere appreci appreciation from the Director Criminal Investigations Directorate to you all the press for having accepted and sincerely having shared our annual crime report to the citizens. We do appreciate, especially the main broadcast houses, the print media, and the online. By you sharing this report, you have generated a debate from a cross-section of Ugandans, leaders of all nature, the academicians, the think tanks, and other categories of people. It was the hope and indeed the intention of the Inspector General of Police that this report goes to the citizens, they appreciate and come up with positive criticisms upon which we depend on to assess our performance and let alone come with better output and results in the next year. And we want to pledge our commitment that we shall endeavor to use all the mechanisms to see that in the next uh, year 2021, probably our results will be far better. So we sincerely thank you so much and please remain our vagans. Thank you so much. The second issue, ladies and gentlemen, uh, is this uh, double murder that took place in Chiboga involving a police officer, a sergeant, and a senior sergeant for that matter. Uh, the matter was reported on 24th of April at around 11 a.m. It was reported that uh, a certain lady had come to report a case of domestic violence at a police post called Nakasozi. And the lady got there an SPC number 1919 Selugo Hussein. Of course, by their very nature, they cannot enter the crimes reported. So Selugo sent a one who was afraid to go and call the in charge police post. Number 18, 810 Sergeant Okola Patrick, who was resting in his room. Immediately, Wasa proceeded to call him. SPC Selugo followed them and instantly shot them, both of them, and they died on spot. Because the bodies were conveyed to the hospital, Nchiboga and the post-mortem was done, but Selugo took off 
On his way as he was going, he met a gentleman called Tulia Singular Martin, who was riding a motorcycle. He put him on a gunpoint and forced him to ride him away. Shortly after short distance, he stopped him and robbed him of 60,000 and left him. Crime intelligence, as well as crime squad, began the hunt and he has today been arrested and is being interrogated. Well, the funny part of it is that he claims the motive of murder was that the sergeant was in love with his wife, of course, which is extremely very false, because according to the management and the people who know him, as well as the social life of this sergeant, uh, this person was not, was not having any known wife or even a conch by around the vicinity. The Directorate of Criminal Investigations anchors on science to prove the case and all the mechanisms have been put in place to ensure that this man is charged of murder to the prejudice of the two gentlemen, now the deceased, as well as aggravated robbery to the prejudice of Martin Tulia Singula. Lastly, uh, you recall like a week ago, we shared with you uh, some news pertaining two gentlemen, one called Dr. Singwa, Simon, and Sonko Patrick. These people had uh, kidnapped, they had abducted a special hire driver from Barara, drove him, murdered him, and threw his body in Ruero. Eventually, the vehicle which the driver was driving, very new car, I mean a very, very new car, not very new, but uh, it was in a good mechanical condition, a UBF, was found being sold by Tasingwa at a cost of four million in Usega. So because of our intelligence network, as well as the colleagues from the, the Kanabes, they reported the matter and this man was apprehended and on interrogation he confessed having abducted together with his colleague called Sonko Patrick. He confessed having done that vice and murdering the, the driver. Now the information we have just got and why I want to emphasize is that Tutasingwa Simon, together with his colleague Songo Peter, have been identified as people who murdered a woman called Namsoke Juliet, uh, uh, alias Nabutono, uh, and this murder took place on 19th, uh, 19th August 2020 in Chichusa. It's so ugly to the extent that Dr. Singa was the step child of the late Nabutono and immediately him and Sonko murdered the lady. They disappeared to unknown places. But according to the intelligence we've had, they had been so notorious in various mischievous acts of robbery around Savannah. So the two are going to be charged of murder to the prejudice of Namsoke Juliet as well as Aimsiwe James, the taxi driver who was abducted and killed from Barara. I thank you so much. And go straight to Uganda and uh, look, you have to, um...